All right, so let's look at our idle animations. We're going to open our dagger idle, and we're also going to go into our daggers database and find our neutral stand idle and see what they're doing in here. And when you open this up, you're going to see a pose, search, branch, and anim notify, which we're going to need to copy and paste onto our own daggers idle. We're going to paste it at the original time. And you'll also see that in our neutral idle, we have loop engaged and we have enable root motion and force root lock engaged. So we're going to jump back to our daggers idle and we're just going to tick those boxes. So loop, uh, enable root motion and force root lock. So once that's done, we can drag our daggers idle into our database and look at disable reselection. It's turned on, so we need to turn that on as well. And then once we've done that, we can delete the neutral idle from our database and we're just going to keep the crouch to stand in there just so we have that transition. And now we want to head over to our daggers database and just swap out the dense stand idols to the daggers stand idols that we created. And then once we've done that, we want to head back into our master chooser table and we'll just change our sparse databases to daggers databases just to confirm that it's working. So if we press play, we can see that our character is now in our idle stance for our daggers. But the rest of the locomotion is obviously going to be the same until we add our other databases. The next thing we want to do is add the props to our actual gameplay character. So if we go into our CBP sandbox character and go to the mesh, add our skeletal mesh, then we can choose to have this be the dagger left and we can add another skeletal mesh to be our dagger right. And inside of these skeletal meshes, we want to assign them a asset, which is going to be our daggers. So dagger one for right, dagger two for left, and you'll notice that they're just sitting on the ground and they'll be sitting there until we add our own sockets to those meshes. So go ahead and do that. And if you press play, you should be able to find that our daggers are now in our hands. So for the idle, that looks great, but for the rest of the databases, our daggers are just going to be floating in our wrists. So we're gonna to have to replace these databases one by one and let's start with the stops.